Team Fantasy Outlook time. Let's get it. Welcome in, everybody. Today, we're going to dive deep into the Atlanta Falcons 2022 Fantasy Team Outlook. The Falcons are in full rebuild mode after moving on from Matt Ryan and losing Calvin Ridley for the season. Look for them to be a bottom barrel team in 2022. As we look at last year's standings, the Falcons finished 2021 as the number three team in their division. They finished behind the Bucks and the Saints at 7-10-0. This year, you shouldn't look for them to get many more additions in that win column. This year in the draft, the Atlanta Falcons took three players who I believe could be fantasy relevant in 2022. Drake London, the wide receiver out of USC, should be the number one wide receiver out the gate with over 100 targets from Marcus Mariota. He has a chance to be the best rookie wide receiver producer this season, just based on the volume he should see. The Falcons did go out and trade for Brian Edwards from the Raiders, but London should still command the bulk of the targets in this offense this season. The next notable fantasy relevant player that was selected by Atlanta would be Tyler Algier, the running back out of BYU. Even though he was taken in the fifth round, he could still make an immediate impact if he's able to grab that starting position away from Damian Williams. Algier is a big body running back with good hands out of the backfield. He has plenty of opportunity in front of him due to the fact that the Falcons want to use Cordell Patterson as more of a true wide receiver this year instead of at running back. The last player that has a chance at a mid to late season opportunity is Desmond Ritter, the quarterback out of Cincinnati. This fantasy value will solely depend on how Marcus Mariota plays. With this being a rebuilding year for the Falcons, I would think that the leash on Mariota is quite short. If the Falcons start out 0-4 or 0-5, it could be Desmond Ritter time. Let's look at an overview of the fantasy targets for the Falcons in 2022. We are going to break this down into three categories. The first category is studs. These are players that you can easily plug and play regardless of matchups. Studs can win you weeks even against difficult defenses. The next category is starters. These are players that you will start almost every week, except there could be a few weeks where matchups can dictate whether you start them or not. The last category we'll talk about is the flex. These are players that you can plug into your flex position and they have a chance to have a fantasy relevant game, but cannot be counted on every week due to inconsistency. In the stud category, we're not going to see anybody in there. In the starter category, we're going to look at Kyle Pitts, Cordell Patterson, and Drake London. In the flex category, we're going to look at Brian Edwards and Tyler Algier. Now let's dive deep into each of those fantasy football targets for the 2022 season. First up, we have Kyle Pitts. Pitts, some would say, belongs in the stud category, but I don't just look at player names and project off of that. Last year, there were games that Pitts wasn't even a part of the game script. He looks lost at times and seems to struggle grasping the playbook. This season, he very much could be a top five tight end, but there will be some weeks that you're left scratching your head with a two-point turd of a game. ADP currently has Pitts as the number 38 player taken off the board. That's a bit too rich for my blood due to that in inconsistency that we have seen. Now, with a decline at quarterback, I can't see his situation even improving in 2022. Next on the list, we have Cordell Patterson. Patterson is a tricky player to evaluate. No one knows if he is a running back or a wide receiver. He was a very productive player at the running back position last season, but the Falcons are saying they want him more of a primary wide receiver in 2022, so now we have to see what he can really do on the field at that wide receiver role. He should be the wide receiver number two as far as targets go behind Drake London, and I really can't see the Falcons not using Patterson at running back at all. He will most likely be a hybrid back that plays both positions. He should still be able to produce at a decent fantasy value for your fantasy team in 2022. Now let's go over the wide receiver who finished number 65 last season in Brian Edwards. Edwards is a wide receiver that was traded for in the offseason from the Raiders. Edwards had some training camp hype last year that never really matured during the offseason. Edwards is a big body wide receiver that has the hands good enough to make an impact on the field for the Falcons. Brian Edwards is a pure definition of a diamond in the rough. This is a wide receiver you can grab at the end of your draft and at least be someone you can throw in as a bye week fill-in in 2022. 
as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. That way you guys stay up to date on all the content that we're dropping. We're trying to get you some really good tidbits here and there to make sure you are well prepared to not only take home a championship, but make sure you bring it home in style. I can't wait to see you guys on the next video. We'll see you guys next time.